just a quick one here. I've figured while I'm editing editing away, I'll do a, um, a bit. I guess well, a bit of uh, behind the scenes on how I attach the felt to my table toppers. Now what I've got here is just a spray can adhesive, and um, I'm just spraying about 20 centimeters away. I'm just going to give it a good coat. Now you want to do this to the both surfaces that um, that you're going to attach, just so you can get a real strong bond. If you only do it to the one side, you there's a chance it's not going to stick too well, and you can just pull it up later. But um, before you sort of start spraying the glue away, just um, just a little hot tip here: make sure you tape up the areas that that you don't want the glue to go. I've got I'm not sure if you can see it there, but I've, around the edges, I've actually got a bit of tape there that um, I got from Bunnings. And it's a, it's not a strong bonding tape. It's designed to go over painted surfaces so it doesn't peel off the paint later. And that's essentially it. I'll, um, I'll get cracking on this and move on to the felt. Okay, so what, you, what I've got here now is the felt part. Um, that's what you see in the spray. I, I just did the exact same as I did on the last one. Sprayed 20 centimeters away and just gave it a good coating. But, um, obviously I've sped up the, um, the footage here. I can't spray this fast. It'd be good if I did. Get a lot of, a lot of the projects done quicker than, um, than before. But you can actually apply this technique to a lot of things that you want to make. Like I've got um, dice trays, dice towers and card holders and did the exact same thing. And I've had them for quite a while now and nothing's popped off, which is good. Fingers crossed, it lasts a lot longer. So um, right now I'll, uh, I'll finish this up and um, that way you can see how I uh, how I attach the two materials together. Okay. So now that they've rested for a few minutes, I'm going to grab the two bits and just slap them together. Now um, what I can recommend is make sure you cut the felt a little bit longer than where it, what it needs to be so you can trim it down later. Just makes things a lot easier that way you don't have to worry about trying to get it exact. That's the first one, and there's a second one, and that's essentially it. There's no no real technique about it. I just put them all together, and that's done. Then I'm going to pick them up and put them on the table, and this is my plastic um, uh, paint scraper. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing out the edges. I'm a little bit of pressure but not too much because I don't want to damage it and then, um, just making sure I get onto the edges of the on the table there and um, then I just let them sit to dry and I'll trim them up later so hopefully this has helped a lot of you out there and um, I'm glad um, I don't mind doing these sort of how-to videos. Uh, so if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to um, answer them for you. So, yeah, that's me. Enjoy the rest of it and um, happy gaming.